the building material of choice for one third of the planet. It's alive, it purifies toxins, it is of the place, it has incredibly low embodied energy. It's probably the best building material from a sustainability perspective. It passes the acid test if you do life cycle analysis on earth materials. If you just look at all of the energy, water, and materials impacts of the entire life cycle, Earth wins, hands down. The biggest advantage of Earth building is that Earth is such a ubiquitous material. Most places that people are building, there's Earth. And that's huge. That's a huge, huge factor. I think it's hard for people who are raised in an industrial society where energy is very, very cheap to understand the significance of that fact because we're used to thinking nothing of moving huge amounts of material, including very heavy material, very long distances. But traditionally throughout the history of humanity, that has not been an option. And it's very possible that that will come to be less of an option in the near to middle future, even in wealthy places like the United States. So just learning to build with the stuff that is there on the site is an incredibly valuable thing. One of the other big advantages that Earth has as a building material is its weight. Because Earth is a massive, heavy material, it has the ability to store heat, or conversely, to store coolness over a long period of time. A heavy earthen wall takes a long time to heat up and a long time to cool down. And it turns out that that's critical for efficient passive solar construction. If you want to build a house that is going to be heated mainly with the sun, you need a way to store the heat that's coming in from the sun during the daytime and keep it in the building to release during the nighttime, which is when you really need it. In the daytime, the sun's out, temperatures are high, everything's good. But at night, temperatures are going to drop. You're a lot more likely to be inside your house at night. And that's really when you need that heat. So the thermal mass of Earth, either in your walls or in your floor, can hold and store that heat until you need it. There's a technical aspect to building with Earth that makes it very accessible to lots of people. Most of the Earth and building techniques are so simple that people can learn how to do them in a matter of hours to days. We have lots of experience from Cobb Cottage Company in workshop teaching of people who took, say, a week-long workshop with very little to no previous building experience and went from that directly into building their own homes. Usually people require some help with the more technical aspects. But the actual earth building technique is so simple that most people can pick it up very quickly. It's very, very easy for people without much training and without much technical background to achieve really spectacular results. In fact, it's, uh, it's practically inevitable. <laughs> I've almost never seen anybody build anything out of cob that wasn't beautiful. So that's pretty remarkable in and of itself. Still haven't seen it really turn into a mainstream technique that's being used for mass housing developments. And maybe it never will. 
But in the meantime, I think the biggest impact that Cobb is having is allowing people who want to be building for themselves and who don't have a lot of resources or a lot of training to learn a technique quite quickly that enables them to build a really beautiful and really special home for themselves. I really do see two worlds. Architects are simply unaware of Earth in all of its forms and variations. They're not specifying it. They're not encouraging their clients to deal with it. And then there's this whole world of renegade builders uh, or people that are really fundamentally activists or working from the heart and want to change the world and are deciding, I've got to learn enough about building so I can do an Earth building. I don't need to be a builder my whole life, but I need to do this building.